place. That's your fight. Come on, verse 13. Wherefore, take unto you the whole arm of God. Put on the whole arm. Be strapped up out here in this spiritual war. Right? You can't bring a knife to a gunfight, right? And the portal aspect of this what we talk. So neither ain't in this. You can't bring no butter knife and try to cut Satan. Huh? And the spirits, you gotta sharpen your sword. Alright? Put on the whole arm of God. Come on. That ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore having your loins girt about with the truth. So your loins are strapped with the truth. Right. The truth of God is His Word, the commandments of God. All right? Come on. And having on the breastplate of righteousness. Your breastplate is an ancient word for it, like a bulletproof vest or whatever. Hear me? Your breastplate or your bulletproof vest is righteousness. All right? This is spirit we're talking about here, right? Come on. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Seriously. Come on. Above all, taking the shield of faith. So your shield in this world for his faith. Right? Come on. Wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Uh huh. And take the helmet of salvation. Salvation is your helmet you're putting on. You got your breastplate. You got your loins girded about. Uh, you got you a helmet on. Sound like a uniform. Uh, sound like a straight uh, well, uh, soldier getting ready. So well. yeah. yeah, you got your boots on. Uh, come on. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. What's the sword of the Spirit? The Word of God. The sword of the Spirit is the word for the Word of God. That's how you can cut back in the Spirit with His Word. What Christ do when He was tempted? Throw out the Word. Got to go. Right? Make sense to everybody? Yes, sir. All right. Read down to 18. We're going to say Corinthians. Verse 18. Praying always uh -huh. with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Exactly. And watching thereunto with all present perseverance. Or present perseverance and supplication for all saints. For all saints of prayers required as well. That's a that's a that's a powerful tool that we got in spiritual warfare. Prayer to our Heavenly Father. Because those that worship Satan, you best believe they chanting to him. You best believe they praying to them. Those that straight worship that's out and out worshiping Satan, they on time. They do all their little religious dates on time. They pray, they chant to them. They conjure principalities, all that. That's what the book, if y'all, and this ain't for you to go read, get on. Or you can just look it up. The Kabbalah. That's that book that most Jewish people read. The Kabbalah and the Talmud. And it's, it's knowledge on how to conjure up demons. That's just the fastest fast growing open see. Hollywood religion. So That's what I say again. See? That's the fastest growing open Hollywood religion. And Madonna, Madonna Britney Spears, all of them into that Kabbalah. The Kabbalah, which is mysticism handed down from ancient Babylon right. that, that, that people are saying that Solomon got a hold of and perfected. Now, we know Solomon got wicked too, don't we? Yeah. What I'm saying, it's also another book out there called the Goetia. The Goetia. The Book of Shadows. And these people out here worshiping Satan. So we need to be on worshiping high God more than they even on earth. This is spiritual war we in. Right? I'm going to say Corinthians 10. Second witness on this. We got to get Isaiah 59 and pray. He told him the old said the same thing. On that arm. So y'all, we got to put this armor on out here. Eight. It's exposed it at his weak. You don't want that. Instead of ripping the team on the side of the door. Okay, everybody get there. Let's get it. One to six. This is the second witness for Jesus 69. Just getting tired of weapons about warfare and not corner. It's not corner war we need. It's a spiritual war. They got to do with your thoughts and all that. Got to fight back. But he gave us weapons. He gave us power to fight. And then we're not picking up our weapons. We're not shortening our swords. That's all that is. 
Some people think this is just a little fad or a little, you know, a little, a little game or something. This ain't no game. How long you been with black chick? Fade out. 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 Guys, what? Black what? Chips. Oh, you heard that too. Oh, oh, I said, right. There ain't no such thing as a white right. chip. Yeah. What you talking about? It ain't like that. It's deeper than that. We're talking about the spirit of what we're talking about. Right, right, right. 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 Like we follow like spirit. Like we, so we follow Judaism, we just black. Like, right. no, that ain't what we talking about. At all. At all. There's no Kabbalah and Talmud reading going on around here. Right? Six Corinthians chapter 10, verse 1. Now I, Paul, myself, beseech you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ. By the word of Christ? The meekness and gentleness of Christ. Christ was a humble brother, man. Even though he got into boot liquors and all that, he wasn't walking around here boasting or bragging about it. Right. Now look at me, I'm the son of God. Right. Most of the time, 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 time he was killing people and telling them, look, don't even say that. Don't don't even say that. Go to the priest and holler at them and you good. Right. Don't be even be telling nobody. He was real humble. Right. Real meek. Not weak, but meek. That's right. Alright? Come on, brother. Who is present and face the mother? But being absent and bold towards you. Mm -hmm. But I beseech you that I may not be bold when I, when I am present with that confidence. For when I think to be bold against us, which thinks of us as if we walked according to the flesh. Ooh, you hear that? We don't walk according to the flesh. Uh, but they think. The world are like some gang members. Huh? Like sometimes we be out in the corners with them. You know, preaching and you know, teaching the word or whatever. And lady straight a minute she thought we was out there selling drugs. <laughs> and she rolled up and she was on the bus, you know, and she got sure showed. Remember that we Yeah, there? she showed sure did. I thought y'all was some drug dealers. Like, nah, ain't no drug dealers we dealing around her. I, but yeah, I, I ain't know until I heard y'all read the Bible and keep it up, baby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she said, keep it up, keep baby. it up. We need more of y'all. But if it ain't good, you don't come out with it in the flesh with it. Yeah, right. yeah, well, yeah, she told me to sell it back. Yeah, she told me to keep buying it. Right. Right. Oh. Come on, these boys. Verse 3. But so though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. Uh -huh. For the weapons of our warfare are not torn, mm -hmm. but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. But mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. What are the strongholds? The beliefs that got our people trapped out there. Straight Plenty out of strongholds. Straight out and bound, too. You hear me? The the belief, our, 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 our thoughts. You feel me? Our belief system. How we worship our God. You feel me? So these are the strongholds that got our people ensnared out there. So I, the weapons of our warfare are mighty to the pulling down of the strongholds. Subvert the hero strongholds that are pre-built. Right. Come on, Hebrew. Exactly. Verse 5. Pre-built. <laughs> Casting down imagination <laughs> and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. So that's what these weapons do. It cast down imagination and everything that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Cause ain't no knowledge outside the knowledge of God.